Let's learn about the perfect paragraph and how to write one. The perfect paragraph is a formula for how to write an organized and supported argument. There are eight steps to the perfect paragraph. First, you have a topic sentence. Then you have a support, an elaboration, another support, another elaboration, a third support, and a third elaboration. Then finally, the last part of the perfect paragraph is a closing sentence. Let's look at each of these and determine what exactly these parts of the perfect paragraph are. First, let's define what a topic sentence is. The topic sentence is the first sentence of the paragraph where you state what the paragraph is about. It's very important to have a topic sentence so that your reader knows what your overall main point is. Here's an example of a topic sentence. The Dark Knight is by far the best movie ever made. So you know from this sentence that the rest of the paragraph is going to be about The Dark Knight and why it's the best movie ever made. The next key term is a support. A support is a fact that proves your point. It's something that strengthens your argument. Here's an example of a support. To start, it has the most incredible, mind-blowing special effects. So remember, our whole paragraph is about The Dark Knight and why it's the best movie ever made. So my first fact about it is the special effects. The next term is an elaboration. An elaboration is an explanation of how the support proves your point. So first you give a support, which is your main fact. Then you have to explain how that fact proves your point. Let's look at an example of an elaboration. So remember, this was our support about the mind-blowing special effects. So now I'm going to give an example and explain, and that's my elaboration. Throughout the movie, there are amazing acrobatic fights, countless ex explosions, including a semi-truck being turned upside down. So now I've given you an example, and I've explained that support in the dark green. That's what an elaboration is. It explains more and gives specific examples. Here are some more examples of supports and elaborations. Remember, you have to have three supports and three elaborations. You can't have a support without an elaboration, just like you can't have an elaboration without a support. So here are my second ones. In addition, the characters are entertaining and captivating for the audience. So that's my second support about the characters. Here's my elaboration. The Joker is chillingly creepy with his mangled smile and eerie habit of constantly licking the side of his mouth. So I'm giving you an example of a character that's entertaining. Here's another example of a support and elaboration. Here's my support. Finally, although the movie is almost three hours long, the plot is full of exciting events and numerous surprises to keep the audience on the edge of their seats. So there's my fact. Now I'm going to give an example to go with that fact. Here's my elaboration. When the Joker is finally captured, you think he's done for. However, his clever master plan surprises the audience and you realize there's more in store for Gotham. So here we have our third and final support and elaboration. Now we're ready for our final step of the perfect paragraph, which is the closing sentence. The closing sentence wraps up the paragraph and states your main point one more time. In conclusion, there's a reason that The Dark Knight was number one at movie theaters all over the country for weeks. The movie's superior special effects, interesting characters, and action-filled plot all make The Dark Knight the best movie ever made. So again, I'm summing up my supports and what my main point is that this movie is a great movie. So here's my perfect paragraph all together. You'll notice that the first and last sentence, they state my main point. So my topic sentence introduces the topic, my closing sentence wraps up and summarizes. 
All of the dark green are my supports. All of the light green are my elaborations. Remember, you have to have a support and an elaboration together. In total, we should have three throughout the perfect paragraph. So now that you know the key terms, what's the perfect paragraph formula? See if you can fill out the rest of your notes by memory. Pause the video to see if you can figure it out. Let's see how you did. Here's the perfect paragraph formula. First, you have your topic sentence. Then you have your first support. With every support, you have to have an elaboration. Then you have your second support, your second elaboration, your third support, your third elaboration, and finally, your closing sentence. Now you know all eight parts of the perfect paragraph.